Scorpio, welcome to your Astro Flower reading and happy birthday to you, all of you having your birthday between the 6th and the 12th of November. Wow, on your relationship side, wow, my giddy up. This is, and this is coming from you. It's absolutely amazing, a load of passion coming in here. A little bit of reflection, I think, as well, still going on. Uh, within your life, um, ah, it could well be that, yes, yeah, something, someone comes from the past because of, you know, it seems like this, uh, oh, it's quite amazing, it seems like there's something coming through from the past that's sort of like built upon, it's almost like recognising that you were right, Scampio, you were right. On your financial side, a little bit more tricky, to be honest, um, not the same sort of situation there. Uh, going on but certainly um, yeah there's a lot of distilling still going on on the financial that's job and that's business and that and that side of things I think there's a lot of umming and ahhing that's what I feel like from you more than anything else but with that umming and ahhing it's going to become you're almost going to be sort of forced down an area now this is this is the part where Scorpio um, you know, they're a little bit like, you know, they've got, you've got a touch of Librans in you, uh, where sometimes, you know, committing or making a decision uh, very quickly can sometimes be really difficult uh, for you. And it's waiting around for the perfect scenario where I'm not sure necessarily that is the best plan of action for you. Overall energies, you get the Ten of Cups, so that's really beautiful. I think the overall energy is helping you to see the situation for what it really is. And um, because you see it for what it is, then therefore you can invest into people, into relationships, but also into your financial sort of um, your financial sort of pathway in a, in a very sort of positive way, in a very enthusiastic way, because you see the reality for what it is. You've been through those difficulties. And you're starting a whole new cycle. On your sort of relationship side, you get the six of wands within your karmic mission. And I think this is on your relationship side. And there's certainly a lot of things. It does sort of lead and progress into the um, Knight of Cups there. So there's some sort of offering coming through. I think this is due to the way you've positioned yourself. This is the reward you're getting in from it. And the universe is really trying to invigorate this new year for you in a very, very passionate way. Um, out with the old and in with the new. Uh, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, Where is it coming from? It's coming from a place of reflection. It's coming from you. Uh, this is a Scorpio card. And I think you've been reflecting about a lot of things within your relationships. Um, and, and it's helping you to realise what really works for you and what makes you feel good. What is the karmic mission that, or the karmic path you should be doing in the way of your connection with other people that are around you. What's playing through your mind here? Mm, is it daydreaming about the past? No, I don't think it is. I think it's realising that maybe sometimes... Um, you know, even in the past when difficult situations in the past um, also has its silver linings. So, you know, always has its positive side of it all and everything like that. And I think this connection to the past here of how I would have done things differently, um, I think is really important in your life because there seems to be an offering that's coming to the surface here and it may well be tied into someone from the past that may be offering something new to you or a new way of doing things and that could well be that as well what the universe is bringing in to you um but you've come from a st stable position and i think this victory or almost this glow up this attention that you're naturally receiving is because that you have set yourself up because you have been true to you uh going forward so it's a, it's a, it'd be interesting to see what it says on the lights here's card, basically. On your financial side, you've got walking away from something. And this is where the decision making, I was saying earlier on, needs to be a little bit more sort of dynamic, I think, as you go into your new year. If you are born after the um, 12th of November, and that's in the latter, really latter stages of uh, Scorpio, 
maybe it is a case of being a little bit more hesitant and sorting things out and distilling your ideas a lot more to, into a real defined direction for you. That may well be the case. For those of you who've already gone through your birthday though, I think it's a case now of starting to um, open up that drawer of curiosity within you start opening up that new pathway walking towards something that is a, a lot better for you or walking towards your sort of dreams and aspirations yeah i think the universe is sort of saying to you it is a bit of a leap of faith because everything is a leap of faith at the end of the day um you know you can might have a good idea how things turn out but they don't always turn out exactly as we thought um, over this past uh, period, I think you've been consolidating a lot with yourself and with your finances or with your career path or with your business. Whatever it is, I think you are brought yourself into a much more sort of um, stable position, a much more sort of consistent but sort of stable um, flow of life. You've got another four as well, and this is what's playing through you, and this is where you're distilling those three cups into that one cup there of seeing the reality for what it is. And I think there's also um, where I think you're combining various different places, various different skill sets you have. And this is where you've got to walk towards that. Um, and it is a bit of a leap of faith. So it could be a case of, um, sort of like, um, you know, a communication that you're good at communicating with people, but you're also good at finances um, and um, sort of um, sort of uh, sort of public relations and stuff like that. So it could be a case of streamlining those sort of things where you're much more sort of um, like the the manager of the restaurant rather than just sort of like the server of the restaurant. You know, that sort of thing. I'm not saying your service is a restaurant, but you may well be, you know what I mean? But um uh, you know, it's 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 that sort of thing where you're streamlining things and it could be streamlining things in your business to give it a bit more focus, a bit more sort of oomph, a bit more sort of direction. Because what the general uh, outcome for that is the King of Swords. This is wisdom through that distillation uh, which you're going through here. And I also think it also ties into that as well where you've regrouped yourself and you can go forward in towards that wisdom and into that curiosity of where you can actually take it. What's the limit to all of this, basically? Um, so, yeah, let's just do a bit of clarification on the light series car. Thank you very much for being here, by the way, sort of Scorpio. I really do appreciate it. I did do that live last week, last weekend. Absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, there's another one coming up on Sunday as well. And that's all going to be about the Astro Flower, how it works and how it can help you, basically. Um, we've got 10 o'clock in the morning UK time and 10 o'clock in the evening. We've actually got two. The reason we're doing two is to give our friends in Australia and New Zealand uh, the, the possibility to participate in, participate in the lives. And then we do the one in the evening so it's uh, you know easier for America and Canada for you guys to do um, to participate in it. So, um, yeah, choose your time, whichever time's good for you, basically. Um, let's just see what's going on. Um, yeah, with the two cups, you get the three of cups. Very, very sociable times coming on here. And um, I think this ties a lot more into your relationship side more than in your financial side. And I think this is where you're going to be concentrating on it a lot more on your relationship side than your financial side. I think the financial side is a case of wait and see uh, scenario and allowing that pathway to sort of head up and be there. Uh, with the three of, with the three, with the six of ones, you get the three of ones. Hmm, I think this glow up, I think this is, um, I wouldn't wait anymore. If you really want to be engaged with love and engaged in a relationship with another person and to share some beautiful, happy times, I wouldn't wait around basically. Uh, if the offering's coming into you, I would definitely take it. But you've got the, or the possibility to explore several, several avenues of life. Uh, not all at the same time, but maybe there's a direction that really sort of tickles your fancy more than others. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, you get the Nine of Wands. Out with the old and in with the new. I think the healthy boundaries here that your universe is setting up for you uh, is setting you up in a way that... Um, uh, sort of 
creates those healthy boundaries without you having to do the actual work and recognizing um, how things fits in with you, how things uh, fit into your future, into your future desires within your relationships and rather than your past more than anything else. And going off on that journey, uh, the universe is really going to try and stimulate you and there'll probably be a lot of coincidences that are going on in your life in order to create that stimulus and one of the healthy boundaries is stop you going back to your old you more than anything else. Maybe the new um, sort of that ace of wands energy that's coming in from the universe is encouraging you to take those steps to go forth and conquer, as it were. With you, um, with the moon, yeah, these are ideas. I think you've been playing a lot with ideas, a lot of possibilities, seeing how the shoe fits, basically. Uh, and as you see how the shoe fits, that's how you're going to be able to take it on in the future um, and converting those ideas into reality. That's what you've been preparing, exploring yourself, exploring all those hidden emotions, hidden situations within you, what you so desire for relationships going forward. And that sparked a lot of ideas. And now it's a question here, and I think this is what's playing through here, is how you bring that to the fourth. Um, with the Six of Cups, you get the Devil card. So I think the Devil's in the detail, and I think the Devil is, is sort of it's seeing as well. You know, for some of you, it's seeing how you've been in this past year, uh, what things have really worked for you, and now concentrating on the beautiful stuff that you've done over the past year, and how you can bring it into your everyday life, um, bring it into your future, basically. Um, and concentrating on the finer details, almost being a bit obsessive about it in a way, sort of saying, I want, I want this happiness to remain within my life and I want to take it on even further. Um, with the Knight of Cups, you get these Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's a, it's a follow on from that Six of Wands that we find in the um, Karmic block here. I think this offering of love really makes you feel confident, makes you feel like that yeah, you're sitting on your throne in a way. And there's some people that may not necessarily like that for you, but then that's their problem, and I wouldn't really worry too about them too much. I would concentrate on this, this offering of communication and love that is, uh, or this offering of this cup that is maybe coming from you and, and or maybe coming from the outside world. The reason I say it might be connected to someone from the past, because that's your... That's your past self offering that to your future self in a way. Um, and there's also this offering that comes in on the Knight of Cups as well, uh, on that side as well. So it could well be someone from the past who sort of comes back and sort of like offers themselves in a different sort of way to you in your life. Uh, let's just see what's going on in your financial side. Eight of Cups, you've got the Eight of Wands. Really good, actually. That's a really good outcome. And once you start getting into your curiosity and start exploring your future, this is when you're going to gain a lot of information. You're going to gain a lot of insight into the situation, uh, into what you're discovering, what you're distilling into, um, into a real spearhead for your career path and your business and what have you. Um, and it's giving you a point of focus more than anything else. Um, <laughs> with the full card you get the moon so you got the moon twice which is brilliant because that is you again um, it is a leap of faith it is a leap of faith into the unknown I don't think we can as I said at the very beginning here as well um, we can't be absolutely sure about what we're going to be doing in the future we may have a very good idea but it may not necessarily play out like that and this the karmic path as much as the universe here is really sort of offering you up the you know the possibility to explore um situations within your career path which is outside of your mm, outside of your sort of comfort zone more than anything else with the <laughs> with the four of with the four of pentacles you get the eight of cups as well um yeah oh, four of pentacles four of swords you get the eight of cups it's heading towards your happiness, heading towards your sun. And I think that's the happiness after difficulty. I think this is here, you're walking away from something that sort of 
um, you know, needs healing from. I think this is maybe like a venture that you did in the past and it could be a very long way in the past and just sort of healing that aspect of sort of saying, well, you know, at some point, if your business went wrong or if the career path went wrong, you might have turned around and said, well, in that case, I'm not bothering with a career in the future or not bothering in the business because it went wrong. I don't necessarily think that's a good way to go about things. Um, and, and the more you sort of um, encourage yourself to walk towards your happiness, the more you realise that the reason you did things wrong is so you can understand a lot going forward. Yeah, with the four of, four of Cups, you get the Judgment card. This is that whole distilling of that distilling of those three cups there into that one cup up here um which is um like an ascension moment it's like a realization that you happen to be going through this week of how best to put this as i said a spearhead in uh in your career path and that's what that king of swords is all about using that wisdom to give you give you a pathway that really opens up to sort of beautiful i was talking about the four pentacles earlier i'm not mistaken there's three fours down there now. Three fours and three eights. Blimey. That's all squares, really. And that's a little bit of a blocking energy. And this is where I come back to that whole idea of just being very wary. Very wary, Scorpio, of, you know, of not taking that opportunity. If you don't take that opportunity, you may miss the boat. <clears throat> this is the start of your new year and um you know if you if you if you wait around too long you might miss the the, the first boat as it were um there'll be other boats that come along for sure but i think it's in your best interest here to sort of really knuckle down and get the wisdom out of your distillation of you know the concentration of things into a spearhead and once you do, and that pathway is clearly defined by your wisdom and so forth, then you're going to be able to sort of spend your energy and your money wisely because it's all been very nicely distilled for you going forward. It becomes very crystal clear for you, I think, in the coming future where you are being very wise with your investments, with your investment of time and effort and money, basically. Uh, so there you go, Scorpio. Oh, a bit of a week of two halves, really. A bit of a week of yin and yang, in a way. Uh, certainly looks very nice for your relationship side. A very much a winning sort of a scenario this week. Um, on your financial side and your business side, there's work to be done. Uh, and a lot of distillation to be done. But I think it's now time to get on and start going forward, even if everything is not perfectly in place, basically. Uh, there you go, um, Scorpio. Thank you very much for being here. Do, do really do appreciate the support that you show through this channel. Uh, I will see you soon. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.